Hey coach, so excited you found us on YouTube. If you are new to the channel, my name is Coach Sam. I have been a coach for uh, six years and I hope you guys enjoy this video and uh, we'll see you in just a moment. Hey coach, Coach Sam here from Underdog Hoops. So in today's video, we are gonna go over the three things that you guys need to look for in tryouts. Uh, and I'll be going over them right now. Let me just share my screen with you guys and we'll get started. Okay. All right, so three things to look for in basketball trap. So these are going to be going over. I'm just going to go over three of them today. I might have more later. Uh, if you guys point some out to me that I, you know, didn't point out, uh, you can leave them down in the comments and I will get back to you and you guys can, uh, and then I might make a video about it. Okay. So attitude and effort. So why as coaches should we look for attitude and effort? So you know, we want to be looking at body language, uh, obviously their attitude, uh, are they yelling at players? Are they going to be doing this in practice? If they're doing it in a tryout, then they're going to definitely do it in practice. Um, and their effort. So are they walking back on D? Are they walking in general? Um, you know, stuff like that. Um, you know, you want them to run to their spots and their overall effort is a huge part of this. Um, you also wanna be paying attention to their effort in the classroom. So that's grades too. And then their potential, um, you know, if they have more potential uh, in that area, then you can help them along in that area. Uh, okay, so communication. So coaches look for leaders people who can talk on defense uh, and offense and you know be leaders that's all really all we want is and then um correcting and problem solving so correcting uh players that are you know doing it wrong and then solving that problem and getting them to run it right so this is a coach's dream you know, you want people to be uh, corrective and be leaders and, you know, push the game forward. And we need leaders like that to do this sort of thing. So the third one is potential. So I kind of pointed it out in the first one. So coaches look for potential. They seek athletes who could have that potential. I've, I've done it where I've found athletes who can jump high and who can, you know, run the length of the court and, and run people down and block shots. But, you know, I typically will, you know, make a spot for someone like that. And they, if they are doing, putting the effort in, their attitude's good, uh, I have no problem with that. Now, you want to see people that want to put in the work, and that's what I'm just saying is if you don't, if they don't want to put in the work and they don't want to show up to practice, they're late to practice all the time, um, then they don't want to show up. They don't want to be, uh, you know, at practice. Uh, and they, why would they want to be there? Why would I want to put the time in with them? Uh, this is general stuff that I, I, think over the tryout, um, you know, and over the season, if I could do anything different, you know, um, and this is stuff that we talk about as coaches, and uh, this is where we kind of hash it out at the end of the tryout, and we see who has the potential to put in the most amount of effort, and so with that, that is the end of the the PowerPoint slide. Um, if you guys like this video, you can hit the thumbs up. 
And if you would like to, you can subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be notified whenever I post a video. And I will see you guys on the next video.